Hi friends, I am here to teach you the chapter climate. It's climate. It, the chapter includes climate, climatic controls, factors affecting India's climate, the monsoon, the Indian monsoon, the onset of monsoon and withdrawal, the seasons, distribution of rainfall, monsoon as a unifying bond. This, these are the climatic conditions we are going to learn in this full video. So watch till end. Climate of India. The climate of India is described as the monsoon type. This type of climate is found mainly in the south and the southeast Asia. Despite an overall unity in the general pattern, there are perceptible regional variations in the climatic conditions within the country. It's safe that we are facing many uh, many climatic conditions within the country within the country okay then the climate variation in climate in different regions of india the variations not only in the form and types of precipitation but also in its amount and the seasonal distribution coastal areas experience less contrast in temperature conditions seasonal contrast are more in the interior of the country there is decrease in rainfall generally from east to west in the northern plains. These variations have given rise to variety in lives of people. Learn this chapter. Watch till end. Okay. Factors influencing the climate. Already we have came up with some influencing factors of climate. Now we are going to learn some new influencing factors like Altitude, latitude, land and sea contrast, ocean currents and winds, cloud and sunshine, slope and aspect of the land, natural vegetation and soil. These are the new that we are going to learn. Okay. Season of India. Seasons of India. The monsoon type of climate is characterized by a distinct seasonal pattern. The, the weather conditions greatly change from one season to the other. Four main seasons can be identified in India. The cold weather season, the hot weather season, the advancing monsoon and the retreating monsoon. These are the climatic conditions we are going to see now. The monsoon season in India. Interesting, right? It's a heavy rainy season. In India, monsoon season runs from June to September. The weather pattern is caused by differing temperature trends over the land and ocean. Rain can come suddenly and hours of rain are common on most days. Mumbai and Kolkata receive the most rain of Indian cities during monsoon. See, Mumbai and Kolkata receive the most rains of rain of Indian cities during monsoon. Winter season the cold weather season begins from mid-November in North and India and stays till February. See, mid-November in Northern India and stays till February. December and January are the coldest months in the northern part of the India. During this season, the northeast trade winds prefer over the country. They blow from land to sea and hence most of the part of the country it is a dry season remember these all points are very important next we are important points of uh, winter the coldest season of the year comes between autumn and spring it is asso associated with plugging temperatures and icy weather but its impact and timing change according to locations the farther an area lies from the equator the coldest, colder temperature it experiences. As it is lying near the equator, it experiences the cold temperature. Okay? It was said in that point. Learn. Summer season. Due to the apparent northward movement of the sun, the global health heat belt shifts northward. As such, from the March to May, it is hot weather season in India. The influence of the Shifting of the heat belt can be seen clearly from temperature recordings taken during March, May at different latitudes. In March, the highest temperature is about 38 degrees Celsius, recorded on the Deccan Plateau. 
remember these all points are very important listen carefully in april temperatures in gujarat and madhya pradesh are around 42 degree celsius in may temperature of 45 degree celsius is common in the north western parts of the country 38 42 45 remember 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 it extends from march to may vertical sun rays shift towards northern hemisphere temperature rises gradually from south to north highest temperature experiences in karnataka in march madhya pradesh in april rajasthan in may remember karnataka in march madhya pradesh in april rajasthan in may very very important may 48 april 38 march 30 degree celsius remember that's all for summer summer is most excited before to us right remember retreating monsoon season the southwest monsoon winds weaken and start withdrawing gradually during october november october to november by the beginning of the october the monsoon withdraws from the northern plains the months of october november from october to november from a period of transition from hot rainy season to dry winter conditions the retreat of the monsoon is marked by clear skies and rising temperature let us see how the situations is in the retreating monsoon season see this picture indicates the situation of retreating monsoon season as it it faces heavy sun rays now let us see the advancing monsoon advancing monsoon season prevails during the month of june july august and september it brings a total change in weather conditions early in the season of advancing monsoon the windward side of western ghats receives very heavy rainfall the wind the maximum rainfall of this season occurs in the north eastern india this is the condition we face as it faces heavy rainfall in the advancing monsoon season the onset of monsoon and withdrawal the monsoon and monsoon are pulsating winds affected by different atmospheric conditions encountered by it on its way over the warm tropical seas monsoon arrives at the southern southern tip of the indian peninsula generally by first week of june sudden increase and in continuation of the monsoon for several days is called as burst the Abe, the arabian sea and the bay of bengal branches of the monsoon merge over the north western part of the ganga plains the withdrawal of the retreat of the monsoon is a more gradual process which begins in the north western states of india by early september the retreating monsoon or the transition season sees the change from hot rainy season to dry winter conditions the low pressure conditions over northern northwestern india get transferred to the bay of bengal by early november causing cyclonic depression originating over the andaman sea distribution of rainfall owing to the nature of monsoon the annual rainfall is highly variable from year to year it says that it's highly variable from year to year areas of high rainfall are liable to be affected by floods while areas of low rainfall are drought prone it's a logical reason monsoon as a unifying bond it says that it's very friendful to the humans plants and animals for the even see the dependence of farmers on rain the change in seasonal cycle variance in temperature the need of humans plants and animals festival days etc all depend on monsoon in india in this way monsoon is a unifying bond for indians please subscribe our channel if you understand please give a like or share our video thanks for watching